our European Commission is uh, following very closely the developments on the Ebola outbreak in Western Africa. And uh, we have a set of measures in order to assist WHO, but also other organizations, and Medicine Sans Frontières is one of them, in order to help them to carry out these very difficult tasks. Um, from outside, we are saddened by the way that so many people have died. And recently we heard that a very important, uh, uh, very important health worker, Dr. Khan from Liberia, who took a very prom prominent role, has uh, unfortunately recently passed away. So uh, we are here in a situation whereby now immediately we need to take a number of actions. And uh, we, as European Commission, are already in the region uh, with a mobile lab in Guinea at a very strategic point, uh, helping to detect the disease. However, we are surprised, somewhat surprised, by the scale of the outbreak. And therefore, we have decided now to take a number of additional steps. So first of all, we will want to mobilize a second lab to the region. We do that together with WHO again. Uh, and uh, at the same time, we are now in the process of mobilizing additional assistance in terms of uh, awareness raising, contact tracing, uh, and other uh, supporting measures uh, uh, for uh, the people who are working on the ground. So from outside, uh, we, we are there, we provide the uh, assistance, but we should also already look now at the medium term. And that's why we have decided here inside the Commission to already come with another project to uh, mobilize a more robust laboratory uh, to the region, but uh, stand alone, uh, and but also at the same time to scale up the training of the people because unfortunately due to the current situation we need to further step up efforts to train the health workers and so that the, uh, they can at an earlier stage uh, see well, what's going on. So I would like to say that uh, we express our great solidarity with the region. Uh, we are in very close contact with WHO, other organizations, of course, also from the member states. A number of French organizations are playing a very important role. We would like to build on that experience and on that basis we will step up our efforts in order to try to contain the outbreak, not only in the short term, but also in the medium term. It's actually quite, quite astonishing. It's a very small uh, lab with uh, all kinds of equipment uh, that could diagnose the disease. However, due to the climat climatological circumstances, but sheerly, sheer scale of the, the, of the effort, uh, this has been in a way overused and we need to make additional efforts. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do now in order to step up and bring a second lab or, and spare parts to the region. What we are trying to do is to basically inform the people uh, on uh, what to do in these circumstances uh, and in order to reduce the, the threat uh, of the outbreak or to reduce the outbreak as such. And there are a number of basic rules uh, related to hygiene. Uh, one should not touch uh, dead bodies, etc. And that's what we're trying to do uh, via information campaigns, etc. We are taking a number of immediate actions and we are building also now already on the medium term uh, as part of a preventive approach. And what we have in this region and what we are building up is a network of experts. And we want to further build on that via a Centers of Excellence initiative that is run here by the European Commission. So it's very important now to learn the lessons from this outbreak and to prepare already the immediate future. And that's why we want to go in with this Centers of Excellence initiative, which is run here, to bring the experts together and also their further initiative are already in the pipeline 
to avoid the situation what we're having now. We are planning eight in eight different regions in the world centers of excellence, uh, basically uh, bringing experts that discuss uh, issues uh, of common concern but relate, uh, related to uh, chemical, bio and radiological and nuclear issues. This is clearly a bio, it's a disease uh, prevention action that we want to take in those centers of excellence where we have regional secretariats in some of the regions in this case, in uh, the northern part of, of uh, Africa. Uh, we can extend that with bringing other experts into it, but we are having now a structure in place there. We want to build on that uh, and have the experts together with our uh, experts from the European Commission to further work on preventive measures, uh, preventive plans in order to avoid that such a uh, dreadful situation will not repeat in future.